Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm a, and I have a dog here that won't leave me alone. Yes, and we will be choosing a meal of dairy products and dairy products. Lactose. I hope you're not lactose intolerant, because otherwise it'd suck. At least you get a great buff out of it. Oh, oh well. So I have a fight to do. The last one. Well, an urgent mission. You remember the village elder spoke of a urgent mission where we had to slay a wild monster who was invading, coming in on the territory. Well, we'll just have to fix that, won't we? Urgent mission, let's see. What does this look like? Alright, a Kezu. Hmm. A Kezu, these guys are jerks. They're very slow, they have easily telegraphed moves, and I forgot to pick up the quest, didn't I? Yeah. We'll just quickly do that. But their moves are easily telegraphed, and they're very slow, but they're jerks, because if you get a little too greedy, they have like a electrical stun field around them that, that well, it hurts. Not to mention, their paralyzing attack will screw you over as well. But for now, let's pick up our stuff, and then we will head over to where the Kezu's lair is. Let's see... Since I have the time, I might as well just, you know, beef up. And I use the ration too many. I guess it's just pure instinct that I'm doing it. Anyway, there are two parts you can break off of the Kezu. The body or the head. Well, they're not really breaking off, per se, as much as you add huge scars on top of the model. I think it's barely noticeable, to be honest. But it still is noticeable. It's just not one of the most notable things ever. And you can get everything from the break drops as you can by capturing it, as far as the loot lists that I've been looking at says. But... For the demonstration purposes, I will be trying to damage its head. Probably should have chosen its body to damage. Ladies and gentlemen, we're fighting a horrible giant chicken leech of sorts. At least that's kind of what it looks like. At least in my opinion. Oh, I got him. Excellent. Hopefully Kitty will uh, keep him occupied. And there goes off his paralyzed attack. It will split into three sort of shots. <laughs> And there goes his electrical attack. You don't want to st stand near him when he does that, to be honest. It really does hurt. And he also does scream attacks. And every time he screams, you're... well... You'll plug your ears, and that was a waste of spirit. Honestly, I'm not very good at this fight yet. Mainly because I tend to get a little too greedy. Oh, this boss is annoying. Later on, when he gets angry, he will start spamming his electrical attack together with that jump attack that you just saw. Or maybe he does that when he's getting weak. I'm not entirely sure. Right now, what I'm desperately trying to do is build up spirit, but it doesn't seem like I'm having the best of luck doing that. Oh no, no! Oh! Darn. I got hit by his electrical attack, so now you know what that looks like. I'm simply horrible for getting hit by that. 
Oh, I finally got my spirit up. Sacrifice well worth it. So, as before, what spirit does is my sharpness and attack goes up. And I will not be using any of the special spirit attacks, mainly because it will exhaust my spirit gauge, and oh, I, I want to keep that up. Plus, there's not very many good attacks that can hit the head like that. See, you start with a side swing. Not really good to hit the head with. This fight will drag out a little bit longer than usually they will they usually do. Mainly because I will be trying to break his head. And the thing is, cutting weapons are the best thing to use against them. That's why I'm using a long sword. Also because it has a pretty good reach. Because of that attack. Oh I could oh I couldn't get out of that. No matter what way I dodged. That was just a bad situation. And he takes off. Meanwhile, I'll do some first aid. The next stop on his flight path will be Area 6. So let's head out there. Oh boy, Giapre. There will be a minor nuisance in all these fights. So, let's fill up. And I would like to shout at the dogs, but I'm not going to because nobody wants to hear that. Uh, I apologize for any dog sounds in the background. <laughs> they usually don't get picked up, but, you know, in case they do, I won't know that until I look the the actual, you know, recording. Oh, I get hit by his tail. It's really hard to get hit by his tail, but I managed to do it somehow. And now I got my spirit up again. Excellent. Oh, I hit his wing. Didn't want to do that. But it's much easier to fight him out here, mainly because you actually do have more space to move around in, and I'm not in close quarters where I bang up against the walls. Right, Kitty, you're an idiot. <laughs> I'm not very nice to Kitty, am I? Oh, that scream attack. It's just it's just nasty all around the list. Oh kitty. Uh oh. And that's what I meant that it splits kind of up into three shots. I said that. Anyway, it does that. So you don't want to stand in front of him, or in a cone around his front. Stick. Oh. Ah. Oh. Hit in the back of the head by that. And as you can see, his scream has pretty far reach. This weapon is also pretty nice because of the extra sharpness boost you get from uh, when you're in when you're boosted by your spirit gauge. Another reason why I'm not trying to waste it either. Well, I'm trying to keep it up at all times. Staggered him. Uh, I think he's starting to. Yeah, he's angry now. Darn. <laughs> yeah, he's angry. 
this means he's going to start upping his game. He's going to do electrified jumps. Spirit up again. Another electrified jump. He's a jerk. No! So, uh, to avoid any embarrassments, I am now going to heal. The warming effect has expired. Darn. And there we go. Warming effect. I think he's done being enraged now. <laughs> I can't be entirely sure. And he's flying off. Speaking of which, I should probably use a paintball. After a ration. I do believe his next spot stop is 7. He will fly past 8. Yeah, he will fly past 8, I believe. He's not going towards three or five. So yes, Imald also told me that the translated name of the Japanese, well the, what Kezu meant was Shiver, and that kind of makes sense due to the fact that he's like shivering out lightning or something like that, and that he lives in cold areas, well when they're in their mating season. <laughs> No, kitty! And there's the Kezu. I might as well sharpen up my weapon while I'm waiting. There we go. I missed the sharpener skill already. Yep, there goes my final pink bomb. Oh, and he's angry again. This is bad. I don't like it when they're angry. He does really nasty attacks when he's angry. Now his signs of that he's getting weakened is that his attack animations are less animate and that he's limping. It's always something about limping, but sometimes they have a little extra details, like the Kongala will start sniffing the air looking for food to heal up. And bins will sort of go down. And he's screaming and he's a jerk. Oh. And he's Still. Oh, there we go. Healed. There we go. I don't know if I'll actually manage to damage his head this time around. Um. That being said, this guy, he's really tough. Oh no. No! Again, I got a little too greedy there. I was hoping that I would be able to get an extra hit in. This guy, though, he is a jerk. Also, I need to get used to when he's enraged, his attack animations are a lot faster now. <laughs> But before I uh, fail miserably, yeah, Kitty, keep him distracted. I'm healing. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Let's give him a little tap just to keep our spirit. Game. Oh, I knocked him down. Excellent. Oh. The jerk. Well, since I'm here, I probably should wait with using potions, but screw it. They're easy to make. Hello, Kezu. Aren't you adorable? By adorable, I mean horrifically ugly. Also, a uh, little fun fact. Kia Praise, Velocipraise, Praise, those kinds of monsters, you can chop them in half if you have a strong enough attack and hit them correctly. Ah, 
Ah, and there we go. I damaged his head. As you can see, there are scars now on his head. That means, now that I've damaged his head, I'm going to start attacking other places. And I believe he is also weakened, so he will probably try to flee. Now, I won't be trying to break his back because... Well, you can get the same rewards just by capturing. As far as the lists go. Um... And what else? What am I thinking of? You can get the same rewards and his back. I've had problems getting his back. I've been able to get his head, but this will demonstrate it. It'll just be more scars on his back, really. Uh, there we go. He's actually sleeping. Ah, oh, well, you know what? This is a perfect time to unload. anything there. Sorry. <laughs> Welcome to Monster Hunter. Bitch. Oh, I couldn't do anything there. Oh, I feel I feel horrible now. That was that was that was terrible. Oh, hopefully I can make it back there. I was gonna, I was gonna try to hit him a few times, and I was gonna get rid of the Velociprey, and then I was gonna place a trap, and uh, uh, yeah, this this backtracking here is gonna be cut in the post. Ah, oh, this is so bad. But oh, he took out like half of my health bar with a couple attacks. Nothing I could do. Oh, no, I'm not just saying that because. So, uh, what are you gonna do? Huh? What are you gonna do? Oh, okay. He's... Well, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try doing this. I'm gonna put this shock trap right here. Oh, and I forgot. Oh, I forgot my tranquilizer bombs, didn't I? No, no, get away! Oh, I'm horrible at this. I never learn, do I? I, I wasn't even hit. Th oh, this is this is. Bad. <laughs> oh no, I'll probably be uh no. Yeah, I'm getting the hell out of here. This is a bad place to fight. And he's not really cooperating. I'm trying to get him in this trap, but. There we go. No, wait. That's a bad idea. Ah, oh, come on, in the trap already. Oh, come on. Not gonna co cooperate, is he? No, he isn't. He's just gonna jump around. No. I never learn. Yeah, he's not easy to hit with traps, to be honest. Ooh. 
Screw it, I'm just killing you. Anyway, I damaged his head, and that's good enough. Oh, well, it wasn't that bad at least. At least he was here, and it's pretty quick to get to. I don't know, quick place to get to. So, yeah, he's got some really light pinkish white scars on his neck and head. Uh, and his body, I believe, as long as you don't hit his legs, you'll be damaging his body. But I have yet to be able to damage his body. Uh, maybe because I haven't really tried to. But, it's unfortunate. I was hoping to get him with this shock trap. Uh, anyway. The Kezu fight has been taken care of! Therefore, we are victorious in battle. We'll take a quick look at the goodies we've gotten. And then I believe I will call it a video. We will start getting into the three-star missions. Which should prove to be interesting. Still, I'm, I'm pretty ashamed. Getting a knockout on a Kezu. <laughs> ah, but that's just my greed. Anyway, pale extracts, excellent. Large bones, wyvern claws, flabby hides, and a flabby hide. Anyway, I will s call this a video. I will see you next time.